Ah, uh, guys, I just sped watch through Katana. How do you say? Katana Gatari? I hope I pronounced it right. Probably did not. But oh, I had this anime recommended to me by Management One, and it's 12 episodes long with 40 minute episodes. So it's a little bit hard to get through the episodes because sitting down for 40 minutes watching an episode can kind of get a little bit, a little bit tedious. Um, it, like to keep your focus because like you look away from your second and you miss subtitles. But I got through it. One thing I'm going to say about this anime, as a martial arts anime, the fights are pretty good. Like, it's not uh, like Management One was saying when he was telling me about it. Um, I actually saw this anime in AMV like a long time ago, and I was like, I never got around to watching it, but he brought it up and I looked at the picture of it and I was like, oh, I've seen this like so long ago, but I never watched it. The journey in this, and I'm going to avoid spoilers, if I do bring up spoilers, I'll give you a time and a timestamp in the description of when the spoilers come up so you can avoid them yourself, but uh, we're going to avoid spoilers for right now. The journey in the anime is really, starts out really good, like it's a good journey, it's action packed, it's kind of like, um, basically one of those martial arts animes where you see different fighting styles and you see... How someone with an art, uh, like an unorth unorthodox fighting style, overcomes them. Um, in Musa and Mayu, it's an unarmed fighting style, and this is an unarmed fighting style. Uh, Katana, Katana Gatari? Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know. But that he uses an unarmed fighting style. The dude, uh, Air Master, she floats around and uses like a gymnast fighting style. Usually, it's like the main character has a weird fighting style, and then they fight against other people's fighting styles and sh overcome them. By exploiting their flaws or something like that. But man, <laughs> the creator of the show is such a troll. It starts out really good because they something I liked is they break the fourth wall a lot at the start. But as it shifts to the end, they try to make it more serious. But when you've had so much slapstick humor and the drawing style that like illustration of the anime is like lighthearted and kind of goofy looking, it's definitely different from anything I've seen before. Um, but it's kind of, it always looks lighthearted. There's like a lot, it gets so dark and serious towards the end. It took it, it made me, it was like really complex feelings watching it because I was just like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be like happy or sad and then it just keeps progressing that way. And it, it which a lot of, there's quite a few animes that do that where they like hype you up as it being like a kind of happy-go-lucky anime. Um, and then it going like way off the deep end in darkness, but this wasn't like a shock factor kind of thing I don't believe it was just I Felt like the creator was trying to troll <laughs> like so many people it just felt like that's why at towards the end of the anime We're going to do the spoilers version and I'll let you know when that's coming up so you can avoid it if you haven't seen it yet But I just really felt like he was trying to troll everybody and he shows it a couple times throughout the anime with how he tells the story um one thing I will say and it's the journey was cool, but it just, uh, the, the destination was just so utter uh, crap to me. I just did not like it. Um, it's definitely different. It's this anime is very different in a lot of ways. One, uh, the main character starts out in a relationship. That's not really a spoiler if you watch, if you know anything about it. Even if you look at this plot summary, you probably could tell. Um, that's how it starts. Like, he's already in a relationship. That's pretty rare in animes. Usually, shows go the whole time without the main female protagonist ever getting in a relationship with the main protagonist. Um, but dang. <laughs> but dang. Oh, I just felt so betrayed throughout that whole, like whole last five episodes it's pretty hard to get through because they're 40 minute episodes too so it's really like a 24 episode kind of anime instead of a 12 one but there's no like break in between i guess you could pause it but who wants to stop mid episode for real um i'm glad that there's not a lot of animes that followed that like uh standard of doing like 40 minute episodes because that was uh, that was rough um some, there's not enough, there's not as many fight scenes as I would have liked, and sometimes they're a little, it seems like they're a little bit rushed, which is kind of okay, because like, some of the characters are ninjas and stuff like that, so basically you would expect them to want to have like a quick decisive battle, kind of like in Basilisk, the fight scenes didn't last long, but there was some crazy wild stuff that happened during the fight scenes. Um, I wouldn't say it's quite on that level, but 
some of the fight scenes were just, uh, it kind of gets a little bit repetitive. Like, they all had their goals. None of them were, it didn't even seem like any of them were, like, intentionally evil. Except for, like, maybe a few. Um, the main villainess chick, I think she's the main villainess. I think she was pure evil, but uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more in the spoiler section. But it was, it was, I'd give the anime without spoiling anything like a 7 out of 10. It's something you should watch because it's different, but I'm not going to tell you you're going to be happy <laughs> throughout the anime. It's not like the best anime I've ever watched. It's something you could pass up on, but if you're wanting to see like a different type of show, it's definitely worth checking out. All right, let's talk about the spoilers now. My goodness, and I'm not going to spoil anything too huge, but this is your spoiler warning right here. And I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to ruin like the super huge things. I'm just going to be mainly talking about the ending and what I disliked about it so much. Besides the fact that the show gets seriously dark at the end. Let's talk about episode, I think it was 10 with um, the penguin ninja guy. When he was fighting the guy with the guns, I can't remember their names at all. I know the penguin guy's actual name is Penguin, <laughs> but uh, man. His ability literally contradicted the guns, and the guy uses them anyways, ricocheting them, and basically says, the reason why I won and the bullets hit you is because my plot armor and history is stronger than yours is. I was like, what? He didn't do anything that actually contradicted the dude's power. It should have still blocked the bullets even if they were ricocheting, because it basically it just, he was like chosen by God or something where he could not, he would not get less likely less lucky the bullets straight away from him so you're ricocheting the bullets where they can hit you yourself and they're gonna hit the guy that has the ultimate luck that can make bullets straight from him <laughs> just that's his ability oh my god i was just like really and then like the, the penguins do's powers basically you know how in shows and this is another fourth wall breaking they have so many plot elements that are like fourth wall breaking where the characters are talking to each other, where they know things they shouldn't know, but they bring it up anyways and explain the whole situation without actually seeing it. They do it throughout the whole anime. But the penguin literally personifies the character that you shouldn't kill in, in like a show, a movie, anything. It's kind of like a you don't kill the dog kind of thing. That's basically what his power was. Like basically it would divert things so he couldn't die to him, like projectile was. And the guy's just like, nope, my plot armor's stronger than that because I am the second, the main bad guy's hench person, so I can't lose here. And that was just the most, oh, that just blew my mind. It made me so aggravated. And then the whole, basically, the villains of the show are the main character and the chick that picks him up, the, his waifu for life or whatever. They, everything they did in the show made it, the world a worse place. And oh my god, if you watch the final episode, it's so brain boggling because he, instead of getting revenge, he goes there to die. And he had so many opportunities to be, get revenge. I don't know if this was just him being simple and dumb as usual because that was his whole plot pretty much. But he, he grew and he learned, so I figured he would have learned what revenge was and how to get it. The blonde chick, the main villainess, who's a freaking... Her whole plot is just to basically make history follow itself so that there can be a revolution of some sort, basically up, like causing some kind of upstir for whatever reason, basically because her... The guy that made all the swords in the beginning, freaking... <laughs> because he just... The guy, he predicted that that was going to happen. And he had the choice. I would have loved if he would have just killed her and let the Shogun live. But it didn't matter what he did, because even though he killed the Shogun, he just gets succeeded as normal, so the uprising never happens, even though that's what was predicted. So nothing in the show mattered. Nothing. Nothing they did at all mattered in the whole show. It was insane. It's so troll. It's like when they built up that one swordsman as the ultimate swordsman, but then they didn't show him fight once. It was just his sister fighting all the bug ninja people that were not important. They literally cut his fight out just to troll. The author, the creator of this anime was the ultimate troll. <laughs> it's so insane. Again, I would still watch it because it's different from anything I've ever seen before. 
But man, the ending was so frustrating. I just wanted to stop watching. It was pissing me off so bad. I'm glad uh, Management One recommended it. But boy, <laughs> boy, that was such a bad ending to an anime. Oh, unless you're trying to troll somebody, he succeeded. That was, that was tier, that was A plus tier trolling. I've never been so trolled by an anime. Maybe Phantom Recording for the Phantom, but I just think that show sucked. This show didn't necessarily suck. It was a little, it was a good bit above average, like the whole journey, which is why I recommend it. And then the ending just went full crazy. Oh my god, dude. Oh, mad. But, um, yeah. Another anime I want to talk about is King and Ashura because that's another martial arts anime that I want to rewatch that I really enjoyed. But man, yeah, I don't know. If you have any thoughts, if you want to contradict what I think about the ending, hit me up in the bottom comments. I actually want to know what other people think. Um, I gotta find the spoiler and put a timestamp just so people know. I don't want to spoil people if they don't want to be spoiled. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, that pissed me up. But if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. I know I haven't done an anime video in a while. But uh, some of my other anime videos were actually starting to pick up like views and stuff. So I was like, ah, eh, people like to watch it. Mo and people in the Mutsu want to actually comment. Not everybody likes what I had to say, but at least people are commenting. That's what I pretty much want when I do these videos. Um, I want to have like a community that I could like talk about with anime with people that think like watch good animes. And I'm not gonna get off topic on this, but there's a what I consider a good anime is just probably different than a lot of people. I like good writing and stuff like that, like more so than just fight scenes even though i watch a lot of martial arts animes the writing in those are usually pretty good like mutsu and miru was like pretty historically like informative this one had like the most troll and it like the story was the journey was pretty good the story the ending was just so troll it's different uh air master that it's pretty good i mean i like i like some of the i liked a lot of the fight scenes in that one that's one where i really like the fight scenes but I'm, I'm just getting off in the... I'm just trailing off now. But yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. Bye! <laughs>